Well, hey guys, thanks for stopping by. My name's Matt Johnson and this is The Deep Planet. Today, in this very quick video, I'm going to show you how to do a compression test on your motorbike. This is a Kawasaki ER6N with a Versus motor. I'll put up some pages taken out of the workshop manual at the end of this video if you are interested and you want to have a look at what those numbers look like. But you're just going to need a compression test kit. It has a thread that screws onto there. So we're going to hand tighten that into the spark plug hole, crank the engine for about eight seconds or until that needle stops jumping up. Take a reading, press the little button on the side there to release the pressure, unscrew it, and repeat on the other side. Okay, so we've run the motor until the fan has come in, indicating that the engine's come up to temperature. We've removed the tank. Don't forget to disconnect your fuel, your power supply for your fuel pump, and your overflow hose. I've covered this in detail in some of my other videos. We're gonna remove the air box. We're gonna pull out the four screws that hold in that cover. We're going to need to disconnect the O2 sensor, move all of these wires out of the way. So that's a five mil. Undo those. That comes the airbox. Disconnect the leads that connect to ignition coils. Now because we're using ignition coils, we don't need to worry too much about sparks going all over the place. So we'll just pull those out. That should be in the kit. And spark plugs are out. Hand tight. And then we're going to crank the motor for about 8 to 10 seconds and see what reading we get. Throttle wide open. And that's it. And this is really how quick it should be to do your compression test. Hand tight. You don't want to get that adapter stuck in there. All right, guys, I just thought I'd share this little tip with you. Um, the adapter that you'll need to do the compression test is this little brass job here with a o-ring and what just happened while I was doing this compression test is I thought I'd uh, make that nice and tight and then you're relying on being able to turn that hose by hand to be able to undo this has unscrewed and stayed behind inside the spark plug hole and I, I looked up and I saw this thing. Now this is actually what you use for sharpening serrated edges like on a bread knife and because there's an abrasive surface on there and it tapers I was able to just push that down in there until it gripped. So what we have here is a little bit of plumber's tape. I want to get that into the bench vise, tighten that right up All right, guys, I hope you find that informative. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.